light fundamentally, when it propagates, doesn't consume power, while electrical does. So that's the promise of photonics for computing applications. It's all about power. Moving on to a new company called Ig Electro. Here we're making materials that allow fuel cells to basically get away from platinum electrodes. Um, fuel cells are great for the environment because you take the same fossil fuel and you get about twice as much energy out because they're so much more efficient. We get two populations of mice. We get a group that are actually resilient, that look pretty much like the dip controls, and then we get a group that are susceptible but that will avoid a novel animal here. And this is really nice because this is representative of what happens in the real world. People go through the same stressors, but one person might be resilient and one person might be vulnerable to develop some psychiatric disease. We're sort of living in a golden age for understanding planetary systems. And that really hit a, a crest with the launch of NASA's Kepler mission. This is a one meter space telescope that waits for a planet to pass in front of a host star. And when the planet passes in front of the star, it blocks from the star's light, it casts a shadow over us. And think about patients that have undergone trauma or uh, burn victims which need skin replacement. We can take cells from these patients and if we give them the right instructions, they are capable to regenerate fully functional grafts that we can use for these patients. We're trying to create mobile microscopes, mobile sensors, mobile diagnostic tools, so that the lab, medical lab in general, can be miniaturized, can be made extremely cost effective, field portable, and even enter to the home. So with Biota, we're taking these principles of microbial ecology that we usually use for precision medicine. And so essentially what we think we can do is uh, use these diagnostics to produce value at about $1 million per oil well. We've been focusing a lot of our attention on one particular protein in HIV, that's VIF. And what normally happens during the course of HIV infection is that this enzyme gets packaged into viral particles and mutates the viral genome. When you knock down CVF beta, you destabilize VIF thereby stabilizing Apobacter G, so it can fight off infection. We could take a biochemically intractable problem, which was VIF, and we use systems approaches to solve it.